be. Give me my forerunner. No forerunner? We'll go at Rankle. <laughs> oh, it's not nice. It's not nice. What a board, huh? Look at that board. I'm going to call it right now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. And, and also, we just cracked open uh, a collector booster box of Ikoria. So definitely check that out on the channel. Go back a video. But this deck, is it should be banned. Not the deck, but the, the combo in this deck is nuts. And it's with um, this guy right here. You got Gyruda Doom of Depths, or Gyruda. Gyruda, it, 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 it's too powerful. This deck's been going around. There's many different versions of the deck. But this one, this is the deck that really should be played. If you're going to be competitive and just want to climb to the top, you want to go right to Mythic, this is the, you can use this deck and you will get there. You know, It doesn't take too much to get used to how to run it. It just revolves around Gyruda, making copies of Gyruda or your Thassa, and then just taking your opponent to Pound Town really fast. And you're just bringing in new creatures. Like an Enraged Forerunner just closes out the game like that, you know. Charming Prince, more bounce effects. But this card, it, it, I expect, if any card's going to be banned uh, in, the up, in, the, in the upcoming weeks here, it would be Gigan. It would be Gyruda. Um, hands down, it would be this card. It's It just it doesn't make for fun, uh, fun, fun times, man. You go up against this deck, you just get blown out. Running the deck is a lot of fun. It's a blast. But um, it, it, it's getting tiring, you know? And we even go up against another Gyruda deck in this video. You're going to see just how easy it is to get like a turn four concede out of someone in this, you know? Closing out a game completely, turn five. It's a very, very fast deck, and I think it needs to be banned. Um, a little fun card to run with this would be like Omori the Collector. You throw that in there, you know, just to really ensure you can play your Gyruda uh, turn five, you know, at latest. This card helps out a little bit. You got all your ramp here to get the package going. Your goal is really turn four to play your Gyruda, which it could happen quite often. And uh, just watch the people scoop left and right. All right, let's get into the gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy. What are your thoughts? Should this de should this card be banned? Are you getting sick of seeing it? If you're not sick of seeing it, wait a couple days after this video drops. You will be completely sick of seeing this deck. Let's go into rank and have some fun and give, uh, give people a little spanking. Skadoosh. Welcome to Brokenville. Oh, look, we're both using the same deck. What do you know? I guess it comes down to who has the better starting hand. This deck is just making its rounds like crazy. Um, it's hard to say really who came up with it. Um, I, I heard someone from Twitter. Um, I, I, hear, I hear, like, the, the list kind of just goes on. It's just whatever. And um, it's a great deck. That's all I got to say about it. It's a great deck. looks like we're gonna combo off first we draw one more land our opponent's gonna be in trouble <clears throat> that's a good card too that's a fun little one to include i think here we play uh this guy tapped we're not gonna need another land because we already got what we need here as long as our paradise just chills on the field Got it first. Um, I'll just pay the toll. I knew we could have went fable to, uh, fable to passage, but I don't really care. All right, so we would just drop our Gigan like crazy and do some nasty things. What do we get from us? Opponent's graveyard, our graveyard. I mean, if we do get, if we do take his, we could just do it all over again, right? And try to get something bigger. I guess we go with that. And then um, we will keep uh, his copy. We'll trigger again. We'll get something bigger. Nothing over there. Our graveyard and raise four runner. Stuff gets ugly. Uh, we swing in. That is turn four. On turn four, that is our board. That's 
that's insane, man. It's like legacy kind of crap. It's like uh, old school magic almost, you know. Now you get the right card here. Uh oh, he's got Arthasa. It's just complete shenanigans. It's complete shenanigans. Can we steamroll over him is the question. <clears throat> Thassa, Thassa. He went double Thassa there. Didn't help him though. All right, so here we're going to, uh, uh, I guess we just go with like spark double. We could even spark double our end, end raise forerunner and just call it a day. Let's just do that. I mean, that's gonna call it a day. So game over. There you have it, man. Like the deck is absolutely busted, um, and everyone's running it. Let's uh, have a little bit more fun. I feel like, and you can almost keep any starting hand. They all work very well. They all work very well. That's exactly what we wanted. And we got it. And um, if we didn't hit it, you know, we got something like Charming Prince, which can just go and find some stuff. Out of Erasure. Not sure what he's going to take. Probably Thassa. I mean, um Umori is more threatening than Thassa at this very moment. He's going long term. And don't see, even if he got rid of that, who cares? We can just play Gigan. Let's play Gigan, man. Ridiculous. All right. Um. Yeah. I guess we play you. Um. I should have waited. If we're playing professional Magic: The Gathering, I should have waited there. Um. For his turn, and then we, yeah, take ours. But I also, well, no, it wouldn't have mattered. We wouldn't give him information regardless. Okay. Uh. We could play you, and now uh, we cut the the cost of stuff by playing this. Go creature. Next turn, Gigan ready to go. If he's countered, that's one thing. But if he's not, Sayonara, nice to know you. Assassin's Trophy that. He gives us the land anyway. <laughs> um, we're going to take it. We will take that, my friend. Um, I think we almost... No, we'll grab... It don't really matter. We'll grab blue. And then Hallowed Fountain, and then boom, Gigan. So he may be running another Assassin's Trophy. Definite, eh? And we got this as well. All right, let's um, let's take opponent to town. Opponent, what do you got? We got nothing really from from our uh, our deck over there. Your graveyard. We got charming prince. Okay, I guess we just use our charming prince, and we're gonna exile him and have him come back, and we're gonna do that all over again. We got another Gigan. We got a Spark Double as well. We got Thassa in our hand. That's kind of, it's kind of, I think, obvious what we do there. Make a copy of you. Uh, Thassa. Just so it's on board and it um, will not be affected by summoning sickness. We can just swing right on in there. Uh, the following turn. Heck, we can even play Endrace Forerunner. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, uh, not two more lands. We're a little shy there. All right, he takes out one of our threats. Assassin's Trophy's the Gigan. We'll take action. We'll find ourselves a land. I mean, one more land, and that's game. Okay, that is game. So we just get you, and raise Forerunner. Swing in. By one! Oh, math is for blockers, guys. Math is for blockers. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? It really is, huh? How about that? All right. We're going to need a thread here. Let's go with uh, Scry 2. 
Perfect. Okay, none of that was threatening. Math for blockers. Leave me alone. Joey, remember that time you couldn't do simple math? Yeah, I do, Billy. <laughs> All right, he's drawing four cards. Dude's at one life. He can definitely survive. Um, but this has trample. That's a scary guy. We need some kind of heavy removal here. That's pretty uh, ugly right there as well. Um, I guess we just play that again. And uh, if he counters, cool. We still win. If he play, if he kills this, we still win. We win. Yeah, I, I, he does not have an answer for that. Busted, man. Just busted, busted in rank. There we go. Um, this I don't like. That's like the first time we had a mulligan, really. This is better. Um, <sighs> Dream Trawler can go. I don't know why I had to think about that one. Sorry. Sorry, guys, for, for using a train of thought. All right, Temple Mystery. Hey, it's the field. That's a... Not yet, baby. Not yet, baby. We're just worried about that ramp part right now. If we can ramp a little quicker, that's great. Because getting something like that's up, it's, it's bound to happen. Man, God, this card is busted. I can't get over that. It's too, um, it's too broke. Kethis combo. Uh oh. Oh, a Spock double. Hot dogs, hot dogs. All right. Uh, I think we play you. Uh, I'll growth now. I don't like that he's running. He's not running blue. It doesn't really matter. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. Temple can drop out of our hand. Haru. Elite Guard Mage. Next turn, we're not going to be able to do too much, so I guess... The card draw would be appreciated from Elite Guard Mage, to say the least. Before we can get to Geigen. So we'll go that route. Oh. The Indatha. Okay, cool. Coolio, man, Coolio. And then, uh, yeah, I will just play you. Wait, can we spark double that? No. Uh, copy uh, of a creature or planeswalker you control. Only us. If it was any creature or planeswalker, that'd be, that'd be pretty nifty. Nope. No counter. Good. Did hit a growth spiral. One, okay, so if we would have put Guard Mage to the bottom, we would be actually uh, playing something uh, much better this turn. Oh, that's a lot of damage. We would be playing our Geigen. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe you tapped. I'll just grow Spiral now. I know you're supposed to wait. All that good stuff, etc., etc. Uh, we'll get you out. And then I'll even use my Charming Prince this one time here. So we gain uh, some life. We bounce our, gar uh, our elite guild mage dude here. I could have swung in first. Yes, this is true. Obosh, the Prey Piercer. All right, here's where it comes all down to the marbles. Do I double block on him to avoid severe damages? Yeah. Because, yeah, that thing doubles up all the damage, which is pretty neat. That is a cool card. Cavalier. Cavalier, we're not even afraid of you anymore, man. You're like yesterday's news. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's make magic happen. Or let's not. We can do one of those. Wow, that's cool. What a great freaking card, man. God, you're doing so good, Jelly Moss. Uh, that was pretty bad. Okay, uh, spark double on this, and then we can Charming Prince. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have to block though. We will have to block. Oro, the Unchained, coming on out the game. That's pretty nasty. He deals double damage then. Wow. Fun deck. I like what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing. Opponent, yeah, is definitely in this match. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're gonna need. We don't really need that. Okay, yeah, we can just block you. Ten damage that hit. Pretty nuts, huh? Okay, now we got Thassa, baby. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we go. Spark double. On you, we're hoping to hit a Thassa. Or even end raise four runners here. We did hit a spark double. We can make a copy of, uh, I guess I'll make a copy of you. End raise four runner. Up. We'll swing with all that. We was charming Prince at the end step. Spark double one of the copies. He did get a little hip there. He knows he's going to take some damage, so he is blocking with Uro. We will lose our terror there. He creates his food token, as he should. One's down to eight. We play our Charming Prince. Bounce one of our uh, copies. Copy you. Grab Thassa. It is just too much. That combo is overwhelming, man. Oof, let's do another. Okay, uh, it's like a good game. Like, and like this deck, there's not even much thought that has to go into it. You just gotta know like which card to bring back and which one to bounce, you know, it's so simple. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's do this, Brutus. Um, all of you come and tapped. What decks are you guys running? I usually don't ask too many questions during these videos, but I am curious what people are running out there. I am curious what people are running out there. Um, I'll just play this now. I don't like seeing blue, and I definitely don't want to be countered by my growth spiral. So that's why we played it that way. Trawler can go to the bottom. I think a counter spell deck would um would make a good uh, a good match for this build. He's going to up, is he? Another growth spiral. How about that, huh? How about that? Okay, we shall uh, just growth right now. Get everything we need on the field. And uh, play Paradise. 
Now, if we top deck a land, we can cast Gigan regardless if there's a board wipe or anything here or if he gets rid of Druid. Oh, he is so done. See, like this deck, there's no chance. There is just absolutely no chance, man. It's not fair. Look at this. It's just not fair. What did you what what do you want in your crap? What did you what do you got? No, what do you, what do I got? Oh my god. I don't even have time to win. They don't even like they don't even like it. Alright, we'll get to that gold tier one and then I'll I'll stop. I'll stop after that. That is not um a very good opener. I'll tell you that much. This could be a loss right here. Um, we'll mulligan that one. All right, we will keep this. Looking a lot better. Um, Spark Double's fun. Thas is fun. I don't even know what to get rid of here, honestly. I guess I'll look, we can get it all back. Like, it's just whatever. It's nuts. So we'll play Temple of Mystery first. And we'll get Gross Spiral cooking. I want to play the uh, Triland. Another, I mean, another land right now would not be the worst case scenario. We'll keep it on top because we're just trying to get the guy in as quickly as possible. Okay. Anytime I see blue, I just don't want Grow Spiral countered, so I'm going to play it right now. Am I wrong for doing that? Like, am I, guys, for doing that? Because I just don't want to counter. Like, right now, we could be seeing what he does, grow spiral, but what if he doesn't play anything and he just holds out and counters? I mean, this is part of our plan to get where we need to be, you know, to ramp. So. Beanstalk giant. Okay. Because I know you're supposed to play, like, um, a grow spiral on your turn, or your opponent's turn. We lost a little bit of our power here to really ramp it up. Um, I guess we just go with a Charming Prince and get the Scry out. It looks like we're just going to run into what we need to do anyway. Um, so we could not make it any faster this time. We did not um, expedite the brutality <laughs> process. What would have been cool is if we had a growth spiral in hand. Bink, bink, bink. We could definitely make it happen next turn. Opponent facing impending doom. Bone crushes me guy. All right, that's something. I think we get um, green. In case we... No, we don't need green. In case we were going to, like, hard cast our forerunner. It doesn't matter what we grab here. All right, he takes that out. So this was probably the slowest we got out uh, Gigan here. Um, I'd have to say. I would have to say, guys. This was the absolute slowest. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to pass the turn. But if this is countered, we are in trouble. Fail wishes. It's like he knows what's coming. What did he grab? He grabbed a... Hey. Hey. He grabbed a counter spell. Frickin' rascal. Well, that grinds my gears. I guess I'll go Dream Trawler first then. Here. Have at you, pal. Counter that. I hope you got more of those counter spells.
Hopefully he does not. <laughs> All right, we need this to uh, to resolve. Okay. He could have another one. If he has, he, he very well could have another one. He would have to have mainboarded it. Uh, mainboarded it. Yeah, yeah, main board, yes. All right, we're just going to let it rip. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wouldn't matter. Let it rip. He's got something. It resolves. Wow. Thassa or Spark Double. I think we want to get Thassa, honestly. Because we have a spark double in hand. This would... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. We will grab Thassa. Because then we can drop... I mean, we could have dropped them twice. We could have two of these on the field right now. Wait, bounce that anyway. Wow. I guess, really, we should have gone with uh, spark double then. Wow, we really should have gone with Spark Double. He could actually have lethal on us here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Bone Crusher. Good game. He got it. Good job. I'm happy. I'm happy the deck lost, okay? But I could have played that differently. We, I, I for sure could have played my Spark Double um, on my Cyber Fox. Um, I was getting a little greedy there, and uh, that's what happens when you get a little greedy. But, man, again, the deck is busted, guys, all right? You don't got to take my word for it. You can take everyone's word for it. It's a busted deck, and it's a really, really fun busted deck. Yeah, we're keeping. We are keeping. We got two uh, Paradise Druids here. Um... Yeah, I mean, we'll be able to cast you. Got the red. I hate having to pay two here. But we did. Guard Mage at least be a blocker for us, so that was a pretty nice little keep there. I want my other paradise out. I, I want it all. I want to go all the way for it. I want to go straight for Gigan. Skip over guard mage. At least we got in our hand though. Opponent knows what's coming. This is uh, going to be turn four for us. Temple of Malice. Let's go, baby. No block. Impending doom has arrived. All right, cyber. This is against the uh, Rakdos build. See how Rakdos holds up. Oh man, uh, too bad it doesn't work for us, huh? My graveyard, uh, Charming Prince, sure. And we'll just exile you. Do it all again. Thassa, pretty cool. Um, I don't really care for that. Thassa's amazing. And already next turn, Thassa will be on board. We can even spark double our Thassa. Oh my god. Oh my goshness, guys. I will go with you, though. Oh. Um, graveyard. Dream Trawler, you're fun. It's just too much. It's too much. It's not, it's not fair. It's not fair stuff. I'm gonna attack with everything. Who cares? He's like, aha! My time to block your prince. I 
Down to four. I guess a board wipe could do it, huh? I will bounce you. Whoosh. Make a copy of you, baby. Come on. Come on. That is so stupid. <laughs> Unbelievable. God, like my mind just almost spins sometimes at how crazy this deck gets. Hats off to this guy for sticking with it. I think I played him earlier, didn't we? I'm not sure. Come on, give me my forerunner, baby. Give me my forerunner. You know a forerunner? We'll go at Rankle. <laughs> oh, it's not nice. It's not nice. What a board, huh? Look at that board. What do you think? Bannable? I, I think it is. Um, fun deck. But man, just so powerful. You know, power, 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 blah, blah, blah. Just wreck them, boy. Wreck them. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, leave a like. It does help out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I feel like you're part of the fam. You know, you tune in to watch me every single day. And uh, I like reading the comments. I like hearing some of the feedback from you guys. I love you guys. Skadoosh. You're so Get the fuck.